Good morning everyone, Sophia here. Um, here comes Scott. Today is the town-wide garage sale in my town. It is uh, sponsored by the Women's Club. And if you remember, a couple of years ago, I did my own garage sale, um, part of it. It usually is around Mother's Day. I don't know why it's in October this year. But today is the uh, 22nd of October. It was supposed to be yesterday. It rained. Today's the rain check. We're going to check it out. And um, you're tagging along. So I hope we find good stuff for us and for the Etsy shop. Let's go. It's very windy today, so I don't know if the sound quality is going to be good. Hello. Hi. Uh, I don't know. If, there's, there's very little, but uh, you I mean, got little, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I love this. How much do you want for the Buddha? Five dollars? Okay, it's mine. Garage sales are a great way to declutter your stuff and make a few bucks out of it if you don't want to be bothered with uh, Facebook Marketplace. Oh, look at these. Oh, that's interesting. Nope, barcode, avoid that. Means it's modern. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I gotta think about it. Um, all toys.
Oh, that's a big one. Let's see what they got. Now the good thing about those garage sales, uh, the following week, what well, the DN sell, they put on the sidewalk, and guess who's picking it up? Oh, look at the clock. It's an old electric. I'm determining at a distance. Mm. Nah, keep going. All right, we're going to the fancy side of town. See what's happening over there. All right, so here's a PSA for you. We are on the street where there's a lady who had a garage sale. There's one. A couple of months. Oh, you remember we bought the um, sewing table from, uh, you know, like the uh, shop, shop table? Yeah. The, uh, no, that was uh, a couple of street, a couple of houses up. It like oh, it was in one of those. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we uh, there was a lady who did a garage sale. I don't know, maybe two months ago, and about a week after she did the garage sale, she came home, parked in the front of a driveway, and as she was getting out of the car, she got attacked by a bunch of teenagers from out of town and they beat her up really bad and they took a car they, they cut wanted, they wanted the fob they wanted the fob but they got the car yeah um well that's why they wanted the fob and I, i'm not sure what kind of car it was it, i don't think the uh, news article said anything about it um and they cut one of the kids 16 year old um he's gonna be charged as an adult Maybe last week or two weeks ago they got the guy? I don't know. You told me that, that he got caught. He so got I, caught. I um, because he's on, you know, the ring camera from the guy across the street. Bottom line is, this is one of the reasons, because I know that somebody had mentioned that I should park in the front of my driveway and use my front door entrance. And this is one of the reasons why we're parking in the back. First of all, all our cameras got two in the back. We got one in the garage looking into the driveway and we got one in the back looking at the deck and the parking lot. Um, you also want to keep the lights on. And you want to keep the lights on. But it was daytime. It was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, still, you know, at nighttime, you want to keep your outside lights on. Um, so the moral of the story is that I don't think I'll ever do a garage sale again because clearly this lady was being scouted, recon, whatever you want to call it, uh, during her garage sale. They came in. They checked out a car, they checked out the stuff she was selling, um, checked out, you know, landscaping, whatever, determined maybe she had her rings on when she was doing the sale. They came in acting like they were customers and within a week they were back waiting for her to come home. Uh, she's in her 60s 
and beat her up right there three o'clock in the afternoon and she wasn't parking in the back of a property she parked in the front so they are fearless okay every year we have a we we have a different summertime rash of you know there's like a rash of burglaries and they do a different thing every time uh one year it was the teenage kids that were they would cut a little slit in your screen your window screen in the summertime and they'd pop the the latch off of it so that way they could pull the screen off mm. and then they would enter the house at night while the family is at home and uh uh and then they would they rob the place and exit and then they place the screen back so that you had no idea that you were robbed that that you know somebody had or how they got in you know they didn't uh it didn't break anything or whatever so uh you know it's a different thing every year this year apparently it's, it's cars. cars they take cars out of the driveway literally out of your driveway three o'clock in the morning so what they do is they uh, they come in and they get close to your house and they have a uh, I don't know how to do it I don't know if it's via an app or something but they have the ability to catch your Wi-Fi and through your Wi-Fi to make your fob your car fob activate and open the car <laughs> in your driveway at three o'clock in the morning it's crazy so we got a lot of cars being stolen um, in the area and we've had a lot of burglaries And it's really too bad because I enjoy garage sales. <laughs> I'm nosy. I like to see what people have. Um, there's one down there. There's one down there? All right. We'll do it on the way back. What, uh, what do you look for in garage sales? Obviously, I'm looking for vintage stuff. Um, but some people have specific things in mind. I know some people love kitchen stuff. They're always looking for bowls, uh, pots and pans, plates, dishes, things like that. Other people look for books and CDs. What would you look for? Me? Yeah. You know what? If if somebody if I went to a garage sale and somebody had a uh, Commodore 64 there that still worked, I'd probably pick that up. A Commodore 64? Yeah. That was your first computer, right? That was my first computer, and, and I, I, it was my favorite too. I, I really enjoyed that thing. Um, but and, was it a game console or was it a computer? It could be a game console if you wanted it to be. Um, it, it was a computer, and I was learning machine language on it. And, uh, um, you know, I still have a book, I think it's in Edwards' room, about machine language on the Commodore 64. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so it was a good first computer. And um, so I would, I would pick that up. I remember one time we went to a garage sale or I walked by one with the dogs or something like that. And they were selling a, um, a light table. An oh, a light table, yeah. An animator's light table, and I, I should have picked it up, but I didn't have money on me at the time, so. Mm. So you see, everybody's looking for something in particular. And, and you know, I wouldn't have done anything with the light table, probably. I used to have one. You remember when I had one? Yeah. I had taken an animation course when I was in film school, and uh, it was pretty cool. I don't know what I did with it. Probably. You, you threw it out. I probably threw it out. <laughs> At a time where I was uh, just... You were using it for um, for your film. Yeah. To look at it through the loop. Yeah, that's right. And then, you know, we all got scanners and technology change. And the throwing away sofas. And a bleached out print. Print. Okay. Wall. All right. You remember Scott was talking about first and second mountain? <laughs> we're going on second mountain. Yeah. Our town is what, 500 feet above sea level, something like that? I don't know. Uh, it's not a, I think I saw on Wikipedia that it's only like two and a quarter square miles. Yeah, we're very small. It's a very small town. It's not a big town. Which I, you know, if you're going to live in a small town, it's kind of nice to be in a small town that's next to a big city or near.
you're a big city. Yeah. Because you have the, the benefits of the big city, but... Well, the good thing not is the that uh, we, we don't have to... Uh, we, we can't expand. That's the good thing. The town is pretty much locked in, so we can't expand. We can only go up. I just feel sorry for the folks who have to live next to the water tower. See, now that's gotta suck. I wonder if it makes noise. You remember the big monkey? Ceramic monkey? That came from that house right here. It was right there on the, uh, on the grass. Do you find it weird that I can't remember who I got? So, well, you, you realize, like, when I'm doing this, I'm not paying an awful lot of attention <laughs> to to, you know, Pretty like much every house in town, I can tell you what I got ev from them when I garbage pick. <laughs> everything you pick up from these places goes into temporary memory for me. And it, like, really? Yeah, it's, it's just not my interest. I know. But I'm glad you're doing it though. It gets me out of the house. Look at that, full view on the uh, golf course. Yeah, hold on, let me zoom in. That must be nice. Is that the one where they say it's huge? I don't know. There oh. might be another one on the street. It doesn't look too huge to No, me. that's not huge. Nah, keep going. Don't eat at that kitchen. The fish was bad. <laughs> uh, this guy's cell is all the way in his garage. Bet I'm gonna find stuff in here. Looks nicely organized.
Oh wow, well the church is doing a uh, rummage sale. Okay, let's see what they got. Oh, what a treat, guys. Oh, you know I'm finding stuff here. Oh. Oh, you're pretty. But you got a barcode. Oh, that looks like some sea deck. Yep. Ooh. Right, right now I'm just looking. Avon. These don't sell. And uh, then I'll do a second pass. Fine China, make an offer. Imperial. They had a lot of jewelry and stuff. Um, even though everything was half price, I didn't see anything that was just like, oh, I gotta get it. I gotta put it on the Etsy shop. I mean, the Fenton Silver Crest, yeah, maybe, but it was small and they wanted too much money for it. Um, but they're very popular. I mean, look, a ton of people. Um, you know, I wonder if the First Presbyterian is doing a rummage sale too. I doubt it, but that's not the huge one. It's a church day, so. Um, do we want to try the um, the one that said it was huge? That was the one that was huge. Oh, that was the one? Yeah, because it also said indoor. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we're going to the other side of town now, right? I guess so. Okay. All right, so what did I get so far? For me, <laughs> just for me, I got the uh, Buddha. Um, and then for the Etsy shop, I got a, a cake plate with the uh, knife from uh, Sedek. Is and it heavy? No, it's porcelain. Oh, it's porcelain this time. Yeah. So when it hits my head. No, that was a platter that hits your head. That hit your head. That was different. It's been replaced, by the way. You know. Not my head. <laughs> uh, and I got uh, that coffee set that says cafe on it. Um, that's really cool. Made in Japan. And the strawberry earthside sugar bowl and creamer. The Fenton swan. Yes, another swan. 
uh, the Fenton Swan, the Fiesta, Purple, Pitcher, and I think that's it. Um, so we're going to the last part of town, see what they got, and then going home. So not too bad. Ah, this one looks huge. Looks like there's a lot of decorative items. And clothes. Which you Mary Jo's gonna do Because you know the car, car is small, but but it's... I couldn't fit in it before, but I think now I could. <laughs> I couldn't get it. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Oh. And I couldn't move it. Oh, this is great. Oh, that's phenomenal. Well, I don't think you'll knock the bike over. But... No, it's broken. The trees, they are singing to the tune of a song. So I got that pottery tea set. Um, the teapot is broken, but the cups are fabulous. <laughs> so I just bought it for the cups. Music box, perhaps, yes.
So almost took the uh, Delph sugar and creamer, but the creamer, no, not the sugar, the sugar bowl lid had two chips on it. So I passed. I wanted it to be perfect. Look at this limousine. See the size of this thing? What are you saying? The bottom is sagging? The middle. Either that or it's the curve of the road, but... <laughs> it's a Cadillac. It's the... It's, it's a Cadillac. It's, it's a stretch uh, Escalade. <laughs> All right, we're doing two more streets and, uh, and then we're going home. I got good stuff and um, it's gonna be on the Etsy shop maybe in two or three weeks and um, by the way on Wednesday this week I'm going down to South River New Jersey every two months I have a supervision group I'm the supervisor <laughs> so I'm going there for the region for some of the uh, co-workers and it's every two months and we do a group all day group and it ends at 3 30 and what I do is that as soon as it's over on my way back I stop by a bunch of thrift shops that I don't go to on a regular basis I only go there every two months and uh, we just passed by the house I was checking to see if maybe I got my plastic covers. You'll find out about that soon. <laughs> so anyway, so on Wednesday after my supervision group, I'm going to um, stop by the Goodwill that's there and the Second Avenue thrift shop. And I'm gonna film that. So that'll be a thrift with me probably the following week. And I hope you're looking forward to that because they are generally good thrift shops. And that's where I find all my pottery. There's one. There's one right here? Looks like it. Oh, isn't that the house we almost bought? No. No. That's down the street a little ways. All right, let's go check this out. Now, let's see what she got. Enough. It says 2000 on it. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. 1915 Ladies Home Journal. These are for me. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a find. Okay, let me put my seatbelt on. Look at that. Christmas cross stitch and cretonne. Well, guess what I'm gonna do with a cup of tea tonight is browse through this. <gasps> These are great. And what I do sometimes is that I look at um, advertisement and brands, and then I go online to see if those brands still exist. Because sometimes they still do. They still do the old formulas. Look at that. It's so cool. So I paid a dollar for these. Uh, these two. One of them has a chip. I think you can see it right here. But they're not for sale. These are for me. I absolutely love those. 
uh, Earl Earl Time Tumen Earl Tum I'm not sure I'll have to check it out I there's something about pottery I cannot explain it I just love the way it feels it's too bad this one's broken it has a chip on it but what can you do with those well these are balls you can use for um, condiments guacamole small cereal balls doesn't really matter if you like a piece and she he's always had a lot of pieces um, I stopped by his house last I should have stopped first because I'm sure he had more pieces but apparently his wife was a collector and had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and um, I bought quite a few from them and I don't think I ever put any for sale I think I kept all the ones that I purchased from him but anyway uh, so that was our last stop and this was kind of impromptu um, I actually found out about the um, town white sale <laughs> a couple of days ago and I told Scott you know maybe I should just film that on Sunday when we go because it took a big chunk of the day we've been two hours and 30 minutes out and I wanted to show you the kind of stuff that's in my town once in a while I do estate sales um, found a couple of Hager stuff at estate sale and actually I think I filmed that a couple of years ago um, the problem with estate sales in my town is that they're always very expensive um, they're not nowhere near prices like a garage sale but anyway I hope you enjoyed this um, the stuff will be up on the Etsy shop in a couple of weeks so the swan because you want to get all the swans right uh, we got the swan from Fenton the fiesta pitcher the Sidek uh, cake plate and um, serving whatever you call it uh, knife and then uh, what else the pottery cup teacups that I'm not gonna put in the uh, pot because it's broken and I'm trying to think what else oh the coffee set with the sugar and creamer the sugar and creamer with the strawberries on it and I think that's it and then I'm keeping the two balls the ladies home journal and the Buddha so it was a nice time I enjoyed it did you enjoy it oh it was a thrill oh yeah that's right there's one more right here it looks like it's mostly kids though wow. well let's look at it real quick we're gonna pass by yeah you see it's lots of purple and pink it looks like it's mostly it's kid stuff all of it yeah all kid stuff okay so we're done uh, we're gonna go home have lunch and then move on with the day I'm currently in the process of reupholstering my chairs in the dining room um, that's coming up next and then Friday's video will be the uh, proven skincare review. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to that as well. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe right here in the corner and click that bell button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Check out the Etsy shop Frenchie and Tubby. Tuesday will be a new haul or you know preview of what's coming up for sale this week on Friday at 5 p.m. And my other Etsy shop, my great challenge gift for channel merch. There's a lot of new stuff on it. Think tumblers, <laughs> bags, um, lots of stuff. And then Patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge. If you want to support this channel and a Patreon for exclusive content not seen on YouTube. I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.